Gentlemen, how are you? Fine, how are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Some nice signs. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you very much. Where'd they come from? Did you get them printed locally? No, no. no. They were given to them. We were given, they were given to us. You guys getting paid? No. No? How are you? No. Nobody's getting paid. People we do don't. this because we love the purpose. Yeah. The, the uh, psychological, psychological damage and economic damage is worse than the sickness of water cause. There's no real cases in Beltrami County. Who do you work for? I don't. Oh, that's good. You want to carry a sign? I'd, I'd want to know where they came from. They're like, and I'd, I'd want to. I'd want to support a local business if I could, right? Or a union made, a like good union printing, right? Yeah, I owned a business in Bemidji for 30 years. Cool, which one was it? I had an insurance agency. I had employees. Do I know what it's like for people, uh, if you've never owned a business or, you know, some people, a lot of people are getting paid right now and other people aren't. Yeah. It's a big deal. You see this kid over here? He looks, wants to get his job back. Oh, we'll what, 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 what does he do? What was I don't his know. Job? I don't know him, but he's, He's saying he wants his job back. It's a pretty big deal when you have, when you violate the First Amendment of the, of the Constitution. You know, where, where was it violated? Well, think about it: freedom of speech, freedom to gather, freedom. Of, they closed the churches down practically. Okay. I mean, think about it. So, has anyone shot you down today? Not yet. Did no. the police tell you to leave? No. They love us being here. So they, today, no, no First Amendment violation. Not for me, no. Okay. But if you open up your business, it didn't hassle you. Well, those are licensed type things, right? Well... And businesses have different rights than individuals, or no? If I had my business open, I'd open it up. I mean, these people could open businesses up. They should just open them up. And the governor has, right, for off, for like this? The governor doesn't have the authority to do that. He can't Why tell not? you can't work. Where is his well, right do you, to do who it? Do, who do you work for? This is just uh, citizen journalism. Oh, wow. Unpaid. And you got a mask on. Why don't you take it because off? I, you... Because I don't want coronavirus. I, I am going to need my lung function. Yeah, well, you're a pretty young man. You're not going to have a problem. Yeah, it's, it's killed a few young people. It's, it's a, your personal choice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Huh. No, I'm... But I mean, if you owned an insurance company, you could be open, you could be open right now, right? And businesses yeah. right now can do curb to curb or curbside, right? I would think so. I would do it anyhow. Yeah. I think these people should open up anyhow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice seeing you. Thank you. Have a good day. So who had the signs if I wanted to get one? They're over there in the truck. That black truck. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. What's your job? What's your job? I bartend. Oh. That's all. So have you gotten Used any unemployment? Was that straightforward? Yeah. And you've paid into unemployment like a yeah. normal employee. Mm -hmm. Any years. problems with it? You got it? You got I your got money? It. I got it. I'd rather be working though. 
So why don't you? Why don't you start like your own? Or do you believe in like entrepreneurial effort? I thought about it. Not a. If you had your own business, what would it be? Good question. Got to finish school first, and then we'll figure that out. <laughs> Are you working on school during this? Are you completing coursework online? Yep, yep online. I'm busy. So you're getting so. paid. You're getting your school work done. And so far, no coronavirus. No coronavirus. Well, good. Good. You're the, the mastermind, aren't you? I don't know about that or not. You're rich, right? I don't know about that either. I gotta check my belt sheet. Are you, uh, you're the chair, though, right, of the Beltrami County GOP? Yep. Cool. Well, okay, is this the turnout you get? Well, you know, I didn't know what to expect. We just got it started. And and it kind of spread and all. The next thing you knew, I heard, oh, there's supposed to be 500 people here. I don't know. Where'd you, where'd you get the signs? Uh, I got them back to pick up, you know? Are they printed local and? I suppose. Huh. They're not made in China. How's that song? How, how did you get them or who, who brought them? <laughs> I, they're in the back of uh, this pickup, where the pickup that is. Not a local person you recognize, though? Oh, it was almost all local people in here. Uh, so this is, these are printed. Oh, no worries. These are printed up locally. Okay. And you uh, you own a couple of hotels in the Green Mill. The Green Mill still still doing delivery. I saw one of their vehicles go by, right? <laughs> Selling some pizzas. You know, when your sales go down about eighty percent from where they should be, I don't want to do it. Doesn't make any money anyway. Here's just putting in some time. Uh, no, we're not making much money on it. It's, uh, yeah, we're they're doing business over there. Sure. So why don't why don't? Not enough business up the hill. Of being just I talked to the the gentleman over there holding signs. They owned a business in town, and one of them said he was an insurance agent in town at one point. If he opened a business right now, he would he would just open up. Why haven't you opened up the dining room at Green Mill as a as a form of protest? Do you think there would be legal liability or if we open it up? Yeah. Do you think the governor could take away your your uh, business license? Who knows? And who knows what the city would do? I haven't explored that too much. You know, the uh, you look at a. Uh, uh, you know, you open it up, you probably get some people over there, I don't know how, how I can take a look and see how strict that, that law really is, whether it's the governor did that or whether somebody else did that. But, uh, you might get, we'd probably get some local people coming in there. Do you think a governor should have emergency powers? You know, it depends on what the emergency is. But, you know, he's declaring this thing, which is fine, but, I mean, uh, no, nobody sets any parameters of how far he can go and how much how much authority he really has. I mean, he's grabbed the right to come out and find people. Look at the crap that's going on in Colorado. They, they throw a father in jail because he's playing ball with his daughter in the back in front of the yard. Does huh. that make sense? I haven't seen that. Oh, yeah. That's on the news. And... Uh, you, know, you get that kind of stuff going on. It's just uh, there, there, there's other incidents similar to that that's going on. They, they get a little bit carried away with the darn thing. Do you have specific complaints about how Governor Tim Walz and Attorney General Keith Ellison have have made their emergency orders? Or well, Keith, I don't know how bad Keith Ellison's into it, but Walz is, is doing a lot. Yeah, but I mean, he's following orders from. I may stop thinking about it. He's following orders from like the University of Minnesota, the medical world. Oh, we're going to have 70,000 people die in Minnesota this year. Oh, what are we up to? 250? I mean, make the numbers work. How are you going to go from 250 up to 70,000 by the middle of August? You know how many people have to die every day to get there? Then they revise them. Oh, it would be 22,000. Well, these numbers all over the place. Then you get a group that comes out of Washington and says, oh heck, uh, nobody, not many people are gonna die in Minnesota. Who the hell do you believe? And what, they, who the, what is Waltz gonna believe? And he's making decisions, and I don't think they're very well founded. I mean, I can make a case like saying, the son of a bitch doesn't care about Northwest, Northern Minnesota, rural Minnesota. 
He just came out with a deal. If you travel over 100 miles, you got to be in quarantine for for two weeks. Walls came out with that. Yeah, that's in the governor's orders. Go read it, then you know. Okay. And you got the uh, you got the guy there in. Uh, Everybody in northern Minnesota is going to go visit their parents or kids or something. They drive 100 miles practically. I mean, is that, I mean, they come down from, oops, they come down from, from uh, up Bernie. north. You forgot about Bernie. It's really sad what they did to poor Bernie, huh? What's that? Well, they, they rigged elections so Bernie didn't get in there. What do you Bernie. think of Justin Amash? What do you mean? What do you, I mean, don't you know Bernie Sanders should have won? We're going to talk to the Democrats. I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, these people coming down from the border region, it's all over 100 miles to get to any place. Yeah. And what we supposed to come down here and do some shopping, grocery shopping, do some stuff, go back to what that, and then be quarantined for two weeks? How, how did Everything you Everything in the Twin Cities is almost within 100 miles. Hardly anybody drives over 100 miles. So I, you can make a case by saying, oh, who drives over 100 miles? Nobody in the Twin Cities does, but I guess the whole state does that. How, I, how I, did your I, election go? Huh? She brought up problems with the Democratic election. How did your election go? Did you have options? Did, no, no, no. Did, Republicans is all different. I mean, you got basically one candidate. There were two other candidates, but you know they're they're pretty weak. And no, we haven't had the uh, our election yet. And they haven't had the Democratic election either yet. She's just the, the presi her presidential primary happened. That's on, what she's talking about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, president. Uh, but you didn't you didn't have an option to to vote for Justin Amash or what was uh, the other no, fellow ran? A couple other guys in there that uh, were running, but you now one one withdrew his uh, name and stuff like that. I mean, that's a pretty hard competition to run against. Same thing happened with Obama back in 2012 when he ran the Who ran against Obama? So have you have you put in for the the PPP for Green Mill or for How's it going? Do you think you're gonna get it? Well we got it. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know how it's gonna solve the problem. It's just, uh, you know, 65% they they want you to spend most of the money on, on late. But you know, we're gonna take a look at some of these restaurants and places. Uh, they have like 80 to 100 employees. They lay off everybody, and then they come out with this plan where you got to spend your money on employees. Uh, I don't need 75 employees to do takeout service when you, when your business is down 80 percent. But you could keep I mean, people on payroll, or I'm supposed to just pay people to do nothing? I don't know. If you're getting uh, if you're getting free government money that's designed to be a forgivable loan if you put it into payroll. It doesn't work. It Haven't you work. read the damn laws? I mean, these people go on unemployment, and then the goddamn government gives them another $600 a week. They're making more money on unemployment than what I could ever pay them. Go read your, so do some research. I don't know where. Who are you with? Who are you with? I'm just uh, doing citizen journalism. For who? Just as a citizen, as an independent person. And where do you sell your stuff at? I typically don't. I, it's usually up on YouTube. You do Put a it on YouTube? Yeah. Well, you better be careful what you're saying and what you do sometimes, because if uh, you don't have a license and stuff to get going, permit, I don't want you to get involved with uh, Well, that'd be a first, false first, first Amendment violation, wouldn't it? That would be tough. Well, I, I, again, it'd be like, who, who would come after you, right? I guess there might be, and there, there should be a lot of stuff going on, but I don't mind putting it on there and expressing my opinion about stuff. I just don't want to misrepresent it. Yeah. And the, you know, sometimes we see that happening. I do a lot of long form, like Video Veritas. We used to do it on, uh, like, the Bemidji Public Access when that was a thing. We should sure. do that again. We should have more local media. Yeah. I think that would, that would probably help our understanding of, no, I don't of mind the you, disaster. Yeah, and, so I, I don't mind the media being out there. I just want them to be straightforward and, and honest and, and don't misrepresent things. Or So many times they, they leave information out. Yeah. You know, all that goes. Well, I mean, it's kind of expensive, actually, to edit things. It, you know, you got to have a decent computer and, and storage space, and sometimes it's easier just to well, upload the whole clip. Video Veritas, you know? A lot of times the news media will come on and they film stuff up, and so 15 minutes of uh, 
tape and they edited it down to 30 okay. seconds. So. Well, I'm curious about the signs. Who brought them? You, uh, I should, I should uh, interview him. I gave you a lot of time because we'll you're kind of the, the big business guy in we'll town we'll and, and the chair. We'll uh, so far, I've talked to the gentleman over there, the, the one who said that he had a insurance business in town historically, and he would open up if he was. And he said that, that like you said, the, the black truck is the one that brought the signs, but you don't recognize the individual. The people you should probably talk to if you talk to uh, Luca Check or Mark Dickinson, and, and Batchelder was here earlier. Yeah, back. Luca Check would be a good one. He's down there in the yellow hat, right? Yeah, talk to him. Yeah, take care. Commissioner, how's it going? Good, who are you? I'm Soren Sorensen. That's good. Hello, how Hi are there. you? Great, how are you? You're a local businessman, right? Right. You've got a, a pizzeria? No. No, what you, what's your? Uh, you know. You're the print guy, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah. Amity Graphics is yours. Yes. And you printed all these? Yes. Very, very nice work. No disclaimers on it though, huh? Uh, I, no, I guess not. But you're not uh, actually trying to influence an election or get no, Governor uh, Wallace's attention or no, anything like I, that? No, uh, I, um, I just believe in freedom and I respect, you know, people, whatever their opinion is, I, I'm just making my opinion known that I, I think we can let people decide for themselves now if they want to be open or closed or, you know, you want to stay home because you're concerned. I respect that, but I'm just making it known that I just don't think we need the government to tell us stay home or you know especially in our area where it's not very highly populated. And you're you're technically in the city of Bemidji? Yes. Well my residence is, yes. But your business is or is not? It technically is not. It's, it's not. So no. you're under his jurisdiction in, in, after a fashion. No, not really. I don't do think you, I am. Do you actually. have a licensed business? A licensed business? Yeah. You know, honestly, I don't know where you're going with this, but I doubt if you're on my side, so I think I'll just refrain from commenting. Sure, right. I mean, you're just out in a public space, and you're, I'm you in know, a public obvious, space, visible, local known. business owner. See what it says here? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I believe in this, so that's Cool, cool. Hi. And you, Commissioner? Have a nice day. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. Have a great day. A little, little shy, more shy about your your beliefs and, and what no, you're... not shy at all. Okay. We're just out exercising our right to say, say what we think. Yeah. Yeah. So what do, you, what do you think? What would it look like if people opened their businesses right now? Would that be uh, in line with the law or is the governor's order illegal? Nothing we're doing is illegal. No, I'm asking if the, the been, public been, emergency, the civil emergency Soren, is illegal. Soren, we've been advocating for a safe, smart opening sooner than later. So what does and that look all like? We get, all we get is extensions and more extensions. So we're just advocating for some type of a logical plan to open. And the plan that's presented right now, to me, doesn't appear very logical. And, and like consider South Dakota, they have had not as much restriction and their experience hasn't been any worse than ours. So I feel like there could be a little more freedom. I feel like there could be more freedom. But you'd never relocate to South Dakota just because it's more free? Oh, I love 